When 20 first graders and six teachers were murdered in Newtown, Connecticut, many thought gun control was coming, but it didn't. When 58 people were killed at a concert in Las Vegas, many thought politicians would ban bump stocks, but they haven't. When 26 people were massacred inside of a rural Texas church, many thought background check loopholes would be closed, but no changes have been made. And yet, in the wake of 17 students and teachers murdered at a high school in Parkland, Florida, America is once again at a crossroads. But this time, there's an X factor. Students. They're demanding a change and calling out lawmakers in their state and in Washington. We have to stand up and take charge because nobody else will. Because our elected officials certainly won't. And now Washington is seemingly taking note. The White House now says President Trump is supportive of efforts to improve the federal background check system for gun purchases. The president had previously said he also was open to banning bump stocks. He will meet with students Wednesday at the White House for a listening session. And on Capitol Hill, there are holdups in both chambers. The president is in contact with Texas Senator John Cornyn about his legislation with Democratic Senator Chris Murphy. Their joint bill would aim to strengthen how offenses are reported by state and federal government. Critics say it may have trouble in the House. And the House passed an NRA-backed bill back in December called the Fix NICS Act. It would loosen regulations and allow those with concealed permits to operate state to state. That bill is stalled in the Senate. Pastor Jeffrey Hawkins wants Washington to come together. He lost his two sons to gun violence, including his 14-year-old, who was killed by an AK-47. When we look at it, you know what's happening with gun violence and how many people get murdered every year, this is a plague. This cannot be ignored. He says this country needs sweeping change to make sure his and every community is safe.